up guys, my name is Ben Dunn and welcome to my YouTube channel. In honor of the Eagles beating the Giants in about eight hours, I'm starting this video off with an extra point. Eagles by 20. Before I get into the topic of this video, if you're sitting here wondering, Ben, where the hell are you? I am not held hostage, I'm not captive right now. Uh, I'm in the guest room at my frat house right now. Whether you're Chris Bumstead or Kate Upton, everyone can appreciate a well-developed chest. And today, I'm here to tell you how to get one. Tip number one, don't complicate your exercises. The chest is a very simple muscle. If you think about it, your chest does two things in the simplest way possible. It pushes shit. It pushes shit perpendicular to your body. So, like, a push-up is, like, perpendicular to, like, the length of your body. So you're pushing, you're using, like, gravity as the, as the force against you. You're pushing it yourself up against the ground. If you're, like, an offensive lineman, you're, like, shoving someone, you're pushing, you're basically doing a bench press. That's what your chest does. And then it also wraps and hugs. Like, if you hug really hard, if you, like, hug yourself as hard as you can, like, you love yourself. And you should feel, like, the middle of your chest contracting, creating a little Grand Canyon there. That's why the two movements you should focus on with your chest is your pushing movements and your fly movements. Simply put, like, a bench, a pressing movement and a fly movement, either pec deck, cable flies, dumbbell flies. I see some people kind of overdoing their chest exercises just by like choosing too many exercises that ultimately do the same thing instead of picking one that works the best for you and going ham on it. Like you don't need flat bench, incline bench, and a machine press all in the same workout. The three exercises that I love to do for chest on my push days are incline dumbbell bench, incline cable flies, and dips. This one's for a specific exercise, which is cable flies. For like probably the first year and a half I was lifting, I realized I was doing this wrong. So like it's one thing, yeah, you hug and you, you press the, let's say whatever handles you're holding, like you press them together with your hands and you think you got full contraction, no. Now when I do it, as soon as I press together with my hands, I push out as much as I can. And if you do what I'm doing right now, you can feel like that is maximizing the contraction that you're getting in your chest tissue. Another tip, stop PRing on flat bench three times a week. It is so stupid. I see so many people in the gym who, like they say that their goal is to build muscle, but they work up to a one rep max. They barely get up like 185. And then after they get 185 at like RP 10, they put 190 on the bar and drop down the chest and then that's their entire workout. They did basically zero volume and they would have gotten so much more out of it if they just left the Rego at the door, put 155 on the bar and did a three by 12. This is kind of gonna stem from the last one with like ego lifting, but don't, don't determine the amount of weight that you're doing based on like one plate and two plates like, it, don't feel like you have to do two plates just because that's, like, the norm of being strong. If, if you're trying to get 10 reps and you know that you can only get 8 with, or 7 or 8 with 225, uh, feel free to do 215 for 10. Like, it might not look as cool as having two plates on the bar, but at the end of the day, we're trying, the goal is to grow our chest. The goal isn't to look cool in the gym. You look cool in the gym by being fucking huge, and if less weight and more reps is what's gonna get you huge, then do what needs to be done. That being said, let's enjoy the lift. Be quiet. I hear that thunder that comes from far away. It's like a noise in my head. Oh 
Building muscle in general, obviously you're going to want to get enough calories in and enough high quality calories and enough protein. So for post-workout meal, get two cans of tuna with uh, one packet of Uncle Ben's jasmine rice. There's nothing magical about this tuna and rice that makes you go straight to your chest after a chest day. But to maximize muscle protein synthesis, you need at least a slight caloric surplus of like 300 500 calories. And when I say need a surplus, I'm saying to maximize muscle protein synthesis, not to, not saying that you can't build muscle at maintenance, but to maximize it. A surplus of probably about like 500 calories or greater. At least one gram of protein per pound body weight, honestly, probably up to like 1.5 grams protein per pound. Just because the research is all over the place on where like the diminishing returns effect just like flat lines and yeah all you can really do is get your calories and protein in and it's up to your body like where your body makes the most muscle and up to you and where you're tearing down the most muscle obviously that's where your body's going to spike muscle protein synthesis the most where because the way you build muscle you tear down you tear down muscle tissue when you're in the gym and then as you're recovering you repair that muscle tissue that you tore, tore down and build new more muscle tissue so that you're more prepared for your next workout because your body doesn't want to be sore so when you make it sore so let's say like you have a certain amount of muscle it it starts at zero and you go to the gym and tear down muscle tissue you're saying at like negative five so instead of your body just adding five and going back to zero your body realizes, oh shit, this kid's like, like putting in the work. He's making our bot, he's making our muscles like work harder. So we're gonna build more so that we can keep up with what this human being is doing to us. So it's kind of like two steps backwards, three steps forward, and so on. To end this video, today's divisional round game analysis is brought to you by Protocol Spike Protein Beverage. If you guys are familiar with this, I started working with them when I did my collab with Father Gaines. We were just like running around day longs, like drinking these and benching in people's front yards. For the special occasion, it is the perfect beverage for a gym bro. It has 8% alcohol and 11 grams of protein. And the entire marketing scheme behind it is basically a hashtag 100% unnecessary because I like I actually know the people who I, I work for there. Like the CEO has slept in the same mattress. The point isn't to try to say that there is any benefit at all. That's why it literally says just a few guys from Erie PA set out to make the most unnecessary drink of all time. However, there is some anecdotal evidence that drinking with protein just because of the amino acid profile helps reduce the hangover effect but you shouldn't be drinking this more than like just on special occasions and with the video that i put out yesterday obviously if you are an, an alcoholic do not buy this i'm not promoting like bad decisions but if you're of the legal age to make that decision and you drink responsibly check it out we are in locations in connecticut state college and pittsburgh right now and erie now for the game analysis eagle spread minus seven and a half is a lock that's all that's all i'm gonna say i'm not gonna make any crazy predictions but the eagles are simply just a better team than the giants like their pat their pass rush might have been good against Kirk Cousins, but Jalen Hurts just a different beast. And 
Yeah, there's no chance that the Giants win this game. I'm sorry to everyone who is a Philadelphia sports fan because after I said that on camera before this game even started, I probably reduced our chance of winning by like 300%. But anyways, that's going to do it for the video today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for the support. I'll be back home after this game. I'm driving home. So I'll be back home tomorrow. Normal content. Not me in the corner of this like cement room with a desk chair. But yeah, that's going to do it. Peace.